Hello, I'm going to teach you very quickly with no filler how to create this thumbnail within Final Cut Pro without Photoshop using only the tools you have in Final Cut Pro. As an example, I'm using this clip of my interview with a man who uses horse and pig semen to generate power. We're going to have some big stock of horse semen with the pig. Yeah. We're going to mix it together and we're going to turn on the lights off. If the lights come on, you're going to buy it. If it don't come on, oh well. As you can see, he's talking about pig and horse semen quite eloquently. And let's say I believe I need to get this game-changing advice out into the world. So here's what we're going to need to do. First, let's take a moment from the interview. I like to find something where the subject is really expressive, and this man was certainly passionate about pig and horse semen. This is a good one. So let's save it. I'm going to save this to the desktop so I can find it easily. Once that's saved, let's find it on the desktop and remove the background and watch how easy this is. Right click and remove it. Once that's done, we can bring the remove background PNG into Final Cut. All right, now that you have the photo in your project, you can start to create the thumbnail. If you look at the top left, you'll see the buttons for titles, backgrounds, and generators. We are going to use this to create the background for our thumbnail. Once you've added the background you like, it can be another photo you've taken or gotten off the internet. For this example's purposes, I could have gotten a photo of a vat of pig and horse semen and some electricity to give the visual idea that pig and horse semen is the power of the future. But instead, I'm just going for a generic background provided by Final Cut. And if you want to change the properties of your thumbnail elements, you can do so by fiddling with the numbers you'll find in the top right inspector box. You'll find the color, video, audio, and info inspector elements there. I will label this a title that works for the video. As you can see, I've titled it something that has to do with pig and horse semen because he's very, very passionate about pig and horse semen. And remember, you can layer on the timeline, so if you want the words behind the photo, you can do that. And you can add a little bit of depth to the pig and horse semen. But how do you save it? Well, you save it the same way you saved the image earlier. So now, you have a thumbnail. So let's say you wanted to make the thumbnail for this video. You do it the same exact way. All you need to do is find a PNG of certain elements to add, like I needed a Google Final Cut Pro PNG. Once I found one I liked, I saved it and added a background, and voila. So here you can see I took a screenshot of a Final Cut project and then added that to the background. So now you know how to make a thumbnail all within Final Cut Pro without Photoshop. So like this video if it helped you and share it with someone who needs the same help.